Listen. I don't think y'all ready for this conversation, but let's get into it anyway. I ain't gonna like this one. I've only ever had issues with other black cops. I've had more issues with black cops than I've ever had with a white cop. I've had more issues with other black men and women than I ever have with a white man or a white woman. This is why I don't like talking about race on my platform because I don't think y'all really ready to hear the shit I gotta say. But with this, these five Memphis officers and Tyree Nichols, it's about time we fucking have it. Baby, the self-hate in our community is so fucking detrimental and pivotal right now. But I feel like y'all get off on giving y'all power to other people, to white people. Contrary to what the fuck y'all see on the news, they don't even have to, they, they got y'all doing the work for them at this point. White supremacy and, and the elites, they got y'all doing the work for them now. Because look at these five Memphis cops. Y'all think that shit is normal? Y'all think that shit is just a, a one-time occurrence? No. I've lived in the South for over seven years, and every run-in I've ever had with the law was at the hands of a black cop and a black judge. I literally have a friend right now who's in the middle of su suing the Georgia State PD because something like this similar happened to him. Beat my friend a a on a random Friday night at a club because he could. There is no love in the black community. There is no love. Look at our culture. Down to the music we listen to. You you rappers, you male rappers, y'all get on these tracks and y'all promote violence towards each other and you think it's gangster. No, it's giving self-hate. It's giving coon. And it's giving capper because y'all don't even really be doing that shit in real life. You get on these tracks talking about being in the hood, doing all this shooting, but you live in a gated community. You don't leave your house without five or six people around you. You're a capper. You don't drop bodies. You drop hobbies. Y'all get a little bit of money, and the first thing y'all want to do is align y'all stuff with whiteness. Now you're rocking these luxury brands that don't give a fuck about you. You're too good to rock and tell Fleazy. You're too good to support your own. You can't tag the girl who did Jamaica from your hometown. You can't tag the small business, but all day y'all on these apps rapping Gucci, Louis, and Prada. It's such a lack mindset. You think supporting your own, you think by supporting me is going to take something from you. You think by giving me my flowers or somebody else their flowers is going to take something from you. The self-hate in our community is, is crazy and it's absurd and it's like nobody talks about this shit. Let's start talking about it. I feel like there's enough white creators who do a really good job at educating their own. When we going to start doing that shit for ourselves? Because I feel like we are the only community that does not look out for one another. God rest Tyree Nichols' soul, but it always takes that one example. It always takes for something like this to happen for us to have the conversation. So let's do that. Let's not let this man's death be in vain. When we gonna start talking about the real tea, which is the self-hate in our community? It's crazy. It's crazy, and it needs to change.